Hello ladies and welcome back to It's Time for Tea. My name is Princess Nay and this is my femininity journey that I decided to share with you. Before we get started, ladies, please follow me on Instagram at callmeprincessnay. You can follow my business page at The Indigo Woman on Instagram, so then you can be first alerted when we release our clothing brand for feminine high-value women. Okay, ladies, so now let's get started. So today I wanted to discuss a few tips to be more approachable, not only towards men but creating new friendship circles um, to network with others or to become a very likable person i know a lot of us have changed the way we dress let alone present ourselves and i truly believe based on how you dress is how people will treat you so for starters let's speak about attire hair skin nails and makeup as a feminine woman i noticed i changed the way i dress more um than anything over the last few years um i started out with a very vintage aesthetic and then i went into a girly girl aesthetic which i always wanted to be so now i am be in between both it depends on how i want to dress for the day um typically during the winter months i am very vintage whitley gilbert style and then in the summer sometimes i'm a bit a little cottage core um, and just very, very girly. But I just love um, all of my personal aesthetics because I feel like it wraps in one. Um, and they're all very classy and all very womanly and very elegant. Whatever your personal style is, that's totally fine. As long as it's something that is more approachable versus looking like a, you know, a rag doll that just got out of bed. Um, one of the reasons I am against wearing like bonnets in public or those oversized slippers I see women wearing or pajama pants, dirty hoodies, um, dirty sneakers, messy ponytails or um, anything of that nature is because as an elegant woman who wants to level up in all aspects, it is either is in the job field or, you know, just in general, I just don't feel like you should be wearing any of those type of things. As an elegant woman, you should always look very presentable. A woman should look like a lady, not someone who just literally just rolled out of bed. It's also very important to do your hair to the best of your abilities. No matter how you wear it, your hair is your crown and it always should bring out your feminine features, such as your lips also, um, your cheekbones, your eyes, and overall complexion. Next, I would suggest you wear the best lipsticks, lip glosses, foundation, um, lashes or blush as possible um, I love wearing makeup but when I do do a whole face I like to take time my time and make sure everything looks nice and natural versus wearing makeup that's either too dark or too light let alone looking very cakey on my face um, I definitely would visit your nearest makeup counter to see what best fits for you um, I've noticed that more of expensive brands is kind of more fit for me versus cheaper brands even though I do have you know more drugstore makeups that I can wear for like every day but like when I'm really going somewhere I have to do like more of an expensive brand so it's just best to always invest in yourself when it comes to stuff like that so you just always look your very best um, when it comes to lashes, I just would not suggest the 3d lashes that most women on Instagram is wearing I feel like they look like you're trying to fly away and I just don't feel they are feminine nor ladylike they are they are just not elegant at all um I know some women do wear them and they do love them but they have these big uh church fans on your face it's just not it at all um also ladies when it comes to your nails they should always be nice and clean no matter how you wear them um which also includes your skin which is why every woman should have a good skincare routine and drink a lot of water and eat a lot of fruits and vegetables in a raw form overall as a woman looking your very best should be very important to any woman that wants to level up and have a high level of confidence I personally feel most women today lack confidence and try to do their best to blend in when they are supposed to stand out. If you gain anything from this video, please know life is a little too short not to be extra. And that is my motto um, that I have been living by for years. So this is also includes any expensive perfumes that you should probably go and get. Um, it it's very important for women to always smell good um 
you can have the best outfit, shoes, or handbag, but when you're going to certain special occasions, you always want to smell good, which is why I always recommend, you know, showers and baths before bed and also washing up in the morning. So you always want to have your best feminine perfume on because everybody will always remember how you smelled, if anything. Um, and do not save certain clothing or per certain perfumes or handbags just for special occasions. Ladies, wear them all the time. Life is too short to just keep saving and saving and saving. I don't do that. I have expensive handbags. I also have non-expensive headbands. But if I feel like wearing something for the day, I'm just going to wear it. And that's just what it is. Um, my second tip would always to have control of your facial expressions unfortunately they like to say that sometimes black women always look very angry and frustrated which i find that to be such a stereotype but women in general always control your facial expressions so you could be more approachable um i would suggest smiling more and have more of a warming spirit during basic conversation conversation you should always have good eye contact smile between conversations use proper etiquette and have an open body language for example if you're visiting your local perfume counter this is a great place to practice those simple habits or any department store where you are the only one talking to someone these are um, great habits to use also on a date which shows your interest to a man when you can look him straight in the eye and have conversation with him um because he's going to give you that same attention back. So this is just great ways to practice. Um, he will notice that you've returned the same energy and he's going to do the same. Which will definitely further your relationship to go even further to the second date and more dates um, that goes on. Also ladies, um, when giving a warm kind of body language, you should have great posture instead of slouching your chair. In addition to knowing how to sit like a lady with your legs crossed um, definitely at the ankles. Um, so you can just always look like a lady. This will send a signal that you're not only classy, but is a woman of a certain standard and no one who is considered low value should be approaching you. Now, ladies, drop below something you do or wear that makes people approach you more and or even or even notice you more. Um, this will not only be insightful, but may possibly help another woman in the comments. So drop below something that you do that people approach you about whether it's changing your hair or the way you dress or anything of sorts like that um the third tip i have to offer is to not keep your face buried in your phone in public places such as at brunch or at dinner public events or anywhere you should be um, more alert sometimes the reason people or men are not approaching you would be because they see that you're so busy on your phone at the moment and they just don't want to disturb you or you may not be interested in those around you i know some people struggle with social anxiety and i completely understand i would suggest reaching out to someone or reading online different things that can help you with um, social anxiety so you can get past that um, the fourth tip I would suggest will be building a great brand image on social media. I'm very proud of myself by my Instagram is growing every day like crazy. And I'm very thankful for each of you who follow me and support each of my posts. However, you have to see yourself as a walking brand and market yourself in a way that you attract the right kind of friends, inner circles, networking events, dating life, and overall life opportunities. I'm currently working on an building a ebook to attract not only the rich but rich men rich friends and how to um build a rich looking aesthetic through your wardrobe to attract the life you want in order for you to level up once my ebook is complete you all can use it as a everyday guide to build the best image no matter where you go in life to attract the life you want being um a person who has a great image will take you places that you just are not aware of um, so when people want to approach you it will feel more warming and more calming based on how you dress and you present yourself I would also suggest reading daily affirmations or books as well as staying focused on your journey to create the life you want overall ladies when all of the simple steps that I have mentioned is used um, 
I want you to stay on track every day um, when it comes to building a great brand image so more people can approach you and get to know you and you can build just better friendship circles when you start going in better neighborhoods, um, better events and things and such like that. Um, you'll be able to feel more confident and you'll feel a shift in your life that you are now stepping into the journey that you always should have stepped in, mainly when it comes to your femininity and being a lady uh, by building better connections, um, not only for dating purposes, but just for friendship purposes and just for your overall life. I would never want any of you ladies to miss an opportunity to lower yourself down to society norms, which is why uh, most always have the mindset of um, a high value woman when she wants to um, level up her life. I think that is nothing wrong for a woman, mainly a black woman, who wants to be in higher society circles or be around more high society people who they feel they just deserve to be around. But that is all for today, ladies. Remain classy and beautiful. Mwah.